Hi, my name is Jacob Larson, and we are working on Enneagram Type 3. Um, as many of you know, I've written a web blog on it. This is a video blog on it. I want to talk a little bit about it, just to kind of give you a, kind of a little more detail. Enneagram Type 3, those people are, um, they're very success-driven people, uh, very motivated. They, um, you know, have to do really good at their job. They're really concerned about, you know, perception, how people perceive them. Um, they kind of go out of their way to, um, to be successful. They'll work long hours. They'll um, do whatever they need to do to succeed. I mean, they're very, very driven people. Um, very charismatic. People like them. You know, I mean, they are likable people. They have to be in order to be successful. I mean, it's one of those things where... Um, you know, they, you know, regardless of what they're doing, nine times out of ten, it involves other people. So they get really, really good at um, kind of getting people to like them and on their side so they can accomplish whatever they want to accomplish. And one of the downsides or drawbacks to a three is, you know, because of that fact, they recognize that fact that they, that they need other people. Um, they'll kind of go about recruitment based on lies i mean they they'll lie threes are liars they just um they they lie to promote themselves and get the permission or the position that they want um, and that's one of the tough things about threes because you can be in the company of three they'll be telling you about the successes that they've had um the certain goals they've accomplished or you know how much money they've got in the bank that type of thing I mean it's it's really important for them to put on that presence of being successful and um, in the process of that they will um, they'll kind of do what they can to you know make themselves look better at the expense of other people in some cases um, or they'll do a business deal that isn't quite above board. I mean, you'll, you'll write a contract with them and later you'll get the contract and read it and realize that they changed it and didn't bother telling you about it because they, they, um, they're trying to move it more into their favor. So it's one of those things where, I mean, if you, if you look at the three, on the outward they have this, you know, they have this picture of success that people look at and, um, kind of envy or jealous. I mean, they wish they were in that position. But oftentimes, you know, underneath how they actually obtained that success success is somewhat questionable. I mean, whether or not it was above board. Um, so the downside to threes, like I said, there, there are a lot of people like hanging out with threes. Um, a lot of times they're role models. People will look up to them. But the downside to threes, you really got to watch that deceit part. So if you are a three, the biggest thing that you need to do is remember that other people aren't just pawns for you to use on your path to success. You have to, I mean, you have that deep feeling inside that you're the best person for the job and you're going to succeed and you're highly competitive and you're going to beat other people and that's fine, but you have to, you have to come to the realization that, um, you know, there are other people out there that are just as worthy of obtaining goals and being successful as you are. And um, rather than step on their backs, you know, why don't you mature in that area and work on actually helping other people along with you? So you can bring other people along with you to your success. Then I think that you would be a pretty mature, successful three. So anyway, this, there's a web blog on there that you guys can read through. It goes into a little bit more detail in terms of uh, root sins on threes and some scriptures that uh, a three can use to kind of meditate on, study on, and hopefully uh, do some changes that uh, that will work out for the better. Anyway, so that's Enneagram Type 3. And um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. And there's more coming, so stay tuned.